the increase in the obesity rates in the U.S. have been staggering over the last 30 years. Notice this spike? This coincides with the introduction of high-carbohydrate dietary guidelines. People listened and began to significantly increase their consumption of carbohydrates. But what exactly is a carbohydrate? Look at this sugar molecule that you know in excess is bad for you. And here's a simple carbohydrate chain from bread, potato, or pasta. What's the difference? Not much. As soon as this chain enters your mouth, enzymes begin to break it down to simple sugar molecules. This is what we call the hidden sugar effect. The problem is that your body can only have approximately two teaspoons of sugar in your bloodstream at any given time, otherwise it's toxic. So when you eat carbohydrates that convert to more than two teaspoons of these hidden sugars, here's what happens. Your body has to scramble to put excess sugar away. It packs them into cells where the sugars are converted to fat. But the damage doesn't stop there. Eventually, after years of eating foods that are high in carbohydrates, your body's ability to scramble and store that sugar away begins to break down. This leads to a dangerous situation where the sugar in your bloodstream begins to rise. This is pre-diabetes and eventually type 2 diabetes. So what kinds of foods have hidden sugars? Let's compare the impact on your blood sugar from eating some different foods. To keep it simple, imagine you could wear a pair of sugar goggles that show you the equivalent sugar impact of a particular food in your blood. Let's start with a food that you know is pretty bad for you. Here's a can of sugary soda. That would have an effect on your blood sugar equal to eating over 7 teaspoons of sugar. But lots of foods have the hidden sugar effect. Let's take a plain bagel. It's the equivalent of eating over 7.5 teaspoons of sugar. A cup of cornflakes has 7. A bowl of boxed macaroni and cheese has over 11. You can really see how foods high in hidden sugars can increase your weight and put you on a path to diabetes. Even some foods that most people would think of as totally healthy have a surprising amount of hidden sugars. A medium potato has the same effect on blood sugar as 9 teaspoons of sugar. A cup of oatmeal looks healthy, right? but it has a hidden sugar equivalent of 5 teaspoons of sugar, a cup of brown rice, over 6 teaspoons. By now you're probably thinking, these hidden sugars are all around me. What can I eat to avoid the damage hidden sugars can do to me? The answer is, focus on good proteins, healthy fats, and high fiber carbohydrates. These types of foods have very little hidden sugars, they keep you in a healthy range of blood sugar so you don't build fat and you help prevent diabetes. For example, a blackberry spinach salad with goat cheese medallions, just 2 teaspoons of hidden sugars. Spiced beef and asparagus stir fry, just 2.5 teaspoons of hidden sugars. Adapting to a better way of eating, quality proteins, healthy fats, veggies can be delicious and filling, but can also help you reach and maintain a healthy weight have steadier energy, and a healthier overall lifestyle. To learn more, visit hiddensugar.com.